Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to transform streaming data with SQL using Asteri Flow. There are a lot of use cases for that, including data cleansing, data mapping, data filtering, and data aggregation. For example, you may want to filter your data on a certain column, apply certain calculations to your source data, or aggregate data from multiple sources before the data arrive at your destination. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Asteroid Flow to achieve that with a simple SQL statement. Suppose you have a table of employees with their names, address, and region they're in, and you want to filter by region and derive a target collection where only employees in the US are included. Suppose this is the end result you want in your destination. In Flow, you would navigate to the collections page, click new transformation. This brings up a pop-up window to derive a new collection. From here, there are just three simple steps. Select your source collection employees, pick a language, we're demoing SQL in this tutorial. And then give your derived collection a name, then click Proceed to Gigpot. This opens up Gigpot in another tab, where an environment is already set up for you. Gigpot is free to use. We integrate with Gigpot in order to let users leverage the full capabilities of SQLite. Gigpot is basically an online IDE that provides a complete development environment that can be accessed through your web browser with all the necessary tools and dependencies pre-installed. In Gigpod, navigate to your flow.yaml file in your workspace folder, which holds the specs of your derivation. You would want to update the specs to include the properties you want to see in your derivation. For our example, we will key our collection on employee ID, which is the primary key of our employees table. So let's put employee ID as the key. Under Derive, this is where you can set up migrations. If needed, you can use migrations to create or alter tables that your derivation will use. But for a simple example, we won't be needing that. If you're interested in how to use migrations, this other video we've created demonstrates that. For example, we'll just replace this with brackets so our flow.yaml won't be looking for the file. Similarly, for Lambda, you can put SQL statements to transform your source collection inside this Lambda file. Here are some examples of fields you can leverage. For our scenario, it'll just be a simple select statement filtering on region. So we'll just put it right here instead of referencing a separate Lambda file. Now you can run a preview to see the results live. I'll put the commands in the description. It looks good. So I'm just going to stop this preview. Now, when we ingest this data to our destination, I want us to not only see the employee ID, but the rest of the columns in our employees table. Right now, the schema specs only have employee ID listed. Instead of typing out the rest of the columns and properties, what we can do here is use our schema inference feature to automatically retrieve the schema specs from our source collection. To do that, we just need to add infer schema to our command. What this does is, as it runs the preview again, it's going to update the schema for me. Now, if we go back to our flow YAML file, we can see that the schema has now been updated with the rest of the columns in our source table employees. Now, to materialize it to a target location and see the results there, we'll run the flow CTL catalog publish command to publish this derivation. It'll ask us to type the letter Y to confirm. Now publish successful. Let's go back to the flow UI. Now we see here the new derived collection. To create materialization off of it, navigate to materializations, click new materialization. We'll use Google Sheets today, but you can also materialize your data to any of these destinations. Let's pick a Google Sheet connection I already have here. In the Available Collections dropdown, you want to pick your derived collection, SQL Demo. Before we hit Next, I'm just going to grab my Google Sheet URL from the endpoint config so that we can check the results later. Click Next, Save and Publish.
success. Now let's check our Google Sheet. I'm going to go to the SQL Demo tab. Now the only reason you're seeing many other tabs here is because I also use this sheet for other materializations. Anyway, you can now see the employees from the US region only. If you would like a deeper dive in streaming SQL and want to see another example where we show a stateful transform with migrations, check out this other video demo here. Thanks for watching.